It's raining outside. Happy New Year! It's raining! I'm trying to protect the phone. Happy New Year everybody. I hope you got safe into the New Year. <sighs> Believe it or not, it is the 18th of January right now. I have been filming some clips, but I haven't actually been doing the opening of this video yet. Because I didn't know how to start this month up. Um, here's the thing. I want this year to be better than last year and of course I ended up like last year getting sick as you call it I you guys don't know that from my daily blog knows I had a couple of days where I couldn't sleep so 48 hours and then I slept for 10 to 12 hours then I had 48 hours again, I couldn't sleep. Then I fall asleep on my couch for 5 hours. That were probably January morning. So 1st of January morning, I fall asleep around 5 o'clock in the morning. I want to make sure I didn't have more people destroying things outside. And slept five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around ten. When I woke up, I woke up with an excruciating pain in my lower back and hips. I thought, okay, I'm laying the wrong way, so I'm just gonna try to move around, try to not lay on the couch, move all the way away from. I haven't used the couch since um move around move around try to stretch try to pop the back if it doesn't work within 24 hours i'm gonna call the doctor it didn't work it make it even worse so i went to the doctor i had my dad drive me to my doctor because i couldn't even handle the smallest bump in the road i couldn't handle in my back it turns out I have been dislocated or put, pushed something out of place down at my tailbone and my hips. Which puts me in so much pain I can barely stand. I was several days I didn't even have socks on. Because I couldn't even get down to my socks. I could barely get out of bed. <sighs> this is just my life. So he gave me some morph morphine, Mo morphine, very strong medicine, together with my regular painkillers I usually use when I have something. And so I take max two four times a day. I ended up doing two two times a day for two days, and I'm not kidding. I slept ten hours to twelve hours. Was awake for a couple of hours. Went in and slept 10 hours, 12 hours again, worked for a couple of hours, and then repeated. That was how my day was going after I got on that morphine, morphine pills. Not a fan, and I do not suggest people doing unless your doctor has told you to. So do not do something like that unless your doctor told you to. Just a warning. I then st stepped down to one pill morning and evening, that made it a little bit better, but my entire sleep schedule was <coughs> totally whack. <laughs> Finally got off the morphine and was on the regular pills, I am down to only having pain in my left side and all the way into my backbone. And then it stops. That means every time I have to bend down to the left, it hurts. And I'm not in any morphine or any painkillers right now. I'm trying to move around to loosen it up. What he told me is that I had to go to a chiropractor. 
together with those pebbles. And that costs over 600. Can't afford that. So I had to sleep a lot of time. Even now I have days where I'm just in too much pain that I'm just at ease and I'm going in and sleeping 5 to 8 hours. Which then destroy my sleep schedule again. Yeah. So when I would worst. I was not vlogging every single day on my other channel. And I told people I'll be back when I feel a little bit better. I uploaded two times within I think a week to give them to give you guys or oh, those people that's following on that channel um an update on how I'm doing that I'm still here, um how my process is um and, uh, and that's not edit it's raw file footage I'm not even editing it out I'm just filming a small clip and then upload it straight up and let it go live I can sit up for the time it takes me to edit simple as that so that's what I did then I finally got back to a normal schedule and I have been finished up there I don't know if I showed you guys but the uh, Dolphin's puzzle is done. I have started a horse one. I am currently going through some of all my bags and boxes and sorting out what I don't want the paperwork and what I do need the paperwork. And planning out for my next market, which are two markets next month in February. And there has been a change to the first one. Instead of having two days, we are only having one day. And the second one, I already paid for the table. So I already got that uh, locked in. I just need to pay for the housing at the bed and breakfast thing. And I don't know if I even get breakfast down there because I may have to get too early up to actually get breakfast. That's kind of a problem. Um, so yeah, I am not sure what I'm going to do, to be honest. Uh, we will have to see when we get to that point. But... If you're not following me on my other channel, you should probably know that I have made a challenge. If I hit 1,000 1, subscribers on my other channel, I will cut my hair down to around a centimeter, maybe even less. Yes, I said that. And I have a decent amount of hair. I contacted my dad today about if he had a trimmer to do it and he said yes he has as one with one centimeter blade on two I said perfect I'm gonna contact you when um, I get the five from subscribers what the other guys don't know which they're gonna be told later today but you guys are getting it right now or yeah this vlog take a longer time before it's up but um Timeline, I haven't filmed that for the other channel yet, that's what I'm trying to say. But I am thinking on top of cutting my hair and kind of bleaching it out to a very um, blonde, because I am actually natural blonde, but I have this dark undertone in it uh, because I don't get too much out. But this is actually what I used to be like. So that's on a combination of dark and light hair. But the older I get, the darker it gets in the top. So, yeah. So on top of cutting this and bleaches, or not bleach, but take some of the color out of it, I am thinking about going on a trip. to somewhere I've been talking about going to for a very, very, very long time. I can drive there, 
in one day and I can drive home the same day. So that's not a problem. But it's going to be a long drive. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm thinking about buying a cake with uh, the other thing for that day. And just celebrating that I hit 1k. So if you want to help push that play button or that uh, subscribe button on my challenge 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 on both of my cha challenge 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 you know what I'm trying to say work does work doesn't work with me today <laughs> oh oh my so yeah that's kind of where we at right now so I was going through all of that information aside I was going through some of that paperwork I have laying around and I found some things related to sponsors I gave some that kind of stuff I also found these and what are these? well it's print off of stamps I own and I have been looking into when I went through these that it could be fun to make artwork with these stamps. Is that officially copywriting? I don't think it is because they sell the stamps and you can do crafts and that kind of stuff with it. So I don't know if it is copywriting. It should not be. So yeah, I'm thinking about that because you do have some sweet things in it just for that. And then we have something like this, oh just a second, that was possible to get my hands on. My favorite. And you'll probably get why. Guess why. Let me have. Um, so that's a lot of things like that. So I was thinking about that when I saw these before I started to chuck them up. So I think I'm going to save these just for... Planning out things if I'm gonna go that route. It would be fun if I could. But I would have to look into you stamps for printmaking. Um so I'll have to contact the companies if I can find a way to contact people. I don't know if I can. We'll have to see. But um in any case, I have been doing some research on coming up projects, paintings, and other stuff. And you may think, hey mate, don't you have to markets to prepare to? Yes, I do, but the problem is whenever I'm sitting and cutting treaties, I'm leaning over the table in a specific angle, which hurts my left side. So I can max make one card a day and I need about 500 cards before we have to go to the market can't do anything about it I can go get my back broken but that costs money that's maybe the only thing I can do so I have also been contacting my the one that pays out my salary I did that yesterday uh, from where I'm filming this on the 18th and I ask what am I going to get to the first so I can make a plan make a schedule and she told me that and I calculated everything out I should be able to get my back broken to the first
And I have... It's Wednesday today, isn't it? Yeah, Wednesday the 18th of January. Here's the thing. On Tuesday next week I have to go back to work. That's not gonna be fun. Um, he did ask if I was better and say, yeah, I'm fine. Um, still hurts, but <laughs> can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. I just have to go slow and take the time it takes. That's just how it is. And get some more sleep. At least I don't have to get early up in the morning. So it'll be fine. So what I'm doing right now is on top of cleaning up my house for the strange bags and boxes that is here and there and sorting things out my furniture here is a mess um, I am trying to make a schedule that will work with everything and just try to get some inspiration so when I finally can get around to actually work again I have everything ready. I was invited down to Laura to paint one day and I said no thanks because I wasn't feeling good that day. Um, I really miss painting with her. I had fun down there. But I need to think about my own health first of all. I may be able to do it now but I am not gonna risk it but just the stairs, the free stair steps I have up to my front door hurts when I'm going up and down those. So bad. So yeah, um, just taking it easy right now and that's why I said I hope to this year would be better than last year. Last year I was still in that cold or flu thing that uh, took me, what, four months to get through? And no, it wasn't Corona. I checked it. So, that's just great. One thing doesn't come alone, apparently. So, let's think about the positive, that when I'm going through all this stuff, I actually managed to find a lot of things that can inspire me to do things, and... Hopefully, we can get some stuff done in the coming month. I would like to have a little bit more planned out schedule instead of just two videos going live every single month. But, we will see how well that goes. So, if I'm a rambling, let's see what i already done this month up to this point. subscriber for the vlog channel and we have had a one new subscriber for the craft channel so I thought I was gonna film both at the same time so I can reuse the clip so for those who are new we have this uh, vlog jar and we have a craft jar so each one are for each channel I know you can barely see it so one new subscriber equals one Danish corner so when we hit 1000 there should be 1000 in this minus the 300 I pulled out and put into the bank because I don't want to have money laying around because that was where I had the real money actually laying around here at home I don't do that anymore I got these um, subs fake money to have laying around because it's too easy to find my house to be honest and I don't want people getting any ideas of breaking in I can always see someone has tried to break in 
So we have two Danish kroner. One for the vlog. And one for the craft. Welcome to the club. Yeah, that's not money, many money down here. I know. That's just how it is. <laughs> but time is three o'clock in the afternoon, and I think I should be in it. So I can at least get a, a decent amount of sleep tonight because my stomach not feeling too good. Um, will I manage to do more today in the house? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to figure out a couple of things I need to figure out about making some cutout um, tools for clay jewelry. So that's the thing I need to figure out. Um, I'm trying to work with some shapes and I'm not totally satisfied what I get. So, yeah, you see what it ends up with. In any case, it's a project for the other channel, so the craft channel, so be aware of that. So, I am down with my friend who just got kittens, new kitty cats. And as you can see on my lap, she got a trader. This guy and the white in the background has been missing me like crazy. I haven't been down there. For a couple of months, <laughs> or at least a month, I haven't been down there. I had some babysitting in December, but I, at least a month since I've been down there. Oh, they're so cute. So, it's another day, and I have agreed with a lady. You have seen her before, that we're gonna be drawing and painting today. So I said I got a new sketchbook, I'm gonna show you guys in a moment what it is. <clears throat> I have a lot of painting ideas I want to do, but I want to get it down on paper so I can visual a little bit better. Right now it's just thoughts hanging around my head. So this new sketchbook is about A4 size, and I'm really happy when I found it, so it's only gonna be pencil or color pencil or crayon maybe in it to get the colors I want before I get things onto the canvas. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm gonna show you in sync. I need to do a little bit of computer work and then let's go. Yes, it is the next day. And again, I've barely been away from him in about 24 hours and he is still clinging like crazy. He's just so cute. He doesn't want me to go anywhere. And just as usual, he always has to expect whatever I'm doing. Isn't that right? Now I am upstairs sitting up before a lava comes up and again he has to inspect everything, give it chin rubs to put his mark on everything. He's so adorable. And yes of course Mr. Snow will not leave me alone either. Pingo which is the black one do definitely not want to leave me alone. Those two boys are so clingy to me. Of course, Snow shall have his own checking of everything, making sure everything is okay and putting his mark on everything, and definitely making sure that I got trouble making something. 
so I can just pet him instead of actually doing something creative. It's his feet and no one else's. Mr. Snow, or rather Anton Snow, can I please have my pencil back, or my eraser pencil that is. I am trying to show people what this sketchbook is. <laughs> so, finally got my sketchbook out from him. <laughs> This uh, brand I really like. Um, it is a cheap brand and it do some, I would say, good quality uh, pencils and book covers and that kind of stuff. I, I really like the brand, even the paints are good. So if you want to buy a cheap brand that is some um, kind of like the good one, just a cheaper version, I'll definitely go with this brand. And even Mr. Snow's helping me out here, peeling off the, the plastic. <laughs> Is he gonna expect it or what? Or does he just want the plastic? He just want the plastic. Now it's time for Anton and the others to have a little bit of break and let the others work on our things. Um, here's the thing. That never lasts very long. I don't think we had five minutes up there where the cats wasn't running around chasing each other or chasing something. Finally getting the book opened, very nice big sheets of paper, getting the crease right and crisp, don't get me the wrong way, the first page you do is always a weird way they are bent because they are sometimes glued a little bit too far up, that's a general with all the sketchbooks, so you need to get the first crease, crease very very sharp in order not to poke holes through and that is Odessa Snow's sister she is a cherished little one wants my attention as much as a brother do and she wants to help with drawing Unfortunately, the way she draws is not the way I draw. <laughs> and she ends up agreeing with me and just sitting and keeping an eye out so I can actually get some work done.
that's Betsy Bitch and Bowie the Sphinx Pingo and that is Laura painting on her full body horse I'm gonna throw a picture in Yeah, that wasn't a fluke I put in that picture. That's actually the thing. <laughs> oh, we did it, guys, on my other channel. So I had a fun day, and then I went home, and I haven't done anything crafty since. I made a couple of cards the other day, but that's all. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and throw in that like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.